I'm Tanith White and I'm taking you on the road to Rio. Today we're in Chula Vista, California at the Olympic Training Center to check out the U.S. men's national rugby team. Rugby will be returning to the Olympics in Rio for the first time since 1924 where the U.S. men won gold. In Rio, it will be Rugby Sevens, a quicker game with just seven aside. The U.S. men have already qualified for Rio back in June and also won bronze at July's Pan American Games in Toronto. So anticipation for success in Rio is at an all-time high. A sevens game is typically 14 minutes long, two seven-minute halves. Seems really short, uh, but you're moving at a very high pace the whole time. Uh, when the Olympics comes around next summer, we'll play tournament style where we'll play six games over the course of the weekend. It's the fastest pace thing I've ever done in my life, and it's exhausting. And our coaches here are pushed to the limit almost every day. Eight o'clock, we're down on the track. It's set. <laughs> Hour and a half later, we'll have breakfast. Hour later, we're on the pitch. First session could be skilled and could look at the contact. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And then uh, we'll go to the gym afterwards. Then we'll have lunch, and then we might be on the pitch again an hour and a half later, about two more hours. And then we're in and doing recovery. So it goes about 7.45, so let's say about four or five, and then right into dinner. So it's a full day. A lot of what I think rugby is recognized for is the camaraderie. Do you feel like that's unique to rugby, that, that brotherhood and that feeling among your teammates? Yeah, 100%. I'd say that rugby it personally is the only sport that I play with this type of camaraderie. We all are with each other all the time, even when we're not here. Um, and so it's, it's extended outside of the game for us. That's all from Chula Vista for now. But join us next week as we check out some more U.S. athletes on their road to Rio. For everything Team USA, go to teamusa.org.